Welcome back to the Hockey Shop, source for sports. We're in goalie utopia, Cam's crease, Cam's corner, whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> I'm not excited about you, Cam, but damn, am I excited about the Hyperlight too. It is like Christmas in May. It is. And like, man, this is, this is not just the next Hyperlight. This is, these are steps taken. Yes. Wow, like, well, let, so let's go. Walk me through it. Like, <laughs> I'm go. too excited. <laughs> so let's go then. Man, this thing is like thin. This, like, I wish we had a scale. This thing might be sub four pounds. I cannot believe how light it is. Well, we will post the weight a little up here. That's what it is up there. Yeah, it's going to play real well in the podcast. Let's go. Okay, good. All right. So, Hyperlight 2. Advancing off of the first Hyperlight, which is extremely successful for us, uh, especially here at the shop. Um, we already had a great premise of a pad. We wanted to create a lightweight pad that had quite a bit of flex still to it, but could still perform at a modern day style and do all the things that we would want out of a modern day goaltender. Um, so how do we upgrade that or how does Bauer upgrade that and create now the two? So moving on to the back side of the pad, starting with that first, we can see a thinned out profile all the way throughout. How do you boot. modify it? You make it thin AF. <laughs> so we re reduced the weight, created a better balance and feel for the pad. Moving over to the side, Stabiliflex makes its return. So that's their integrated knee core with a bit of flex to it. So that allows a little bit of roll, especially when you're up on the post. That will help you for that post integration, getting a little bit more over top of your pad. Remember, Supreme Line has Stabila Slide, which is like super firm. Same concept, built into the face of the pad with Stabila Flex, but as Cam said, just a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of give. Correct, but now something that actually debuted in the mock line that has now been brought over to the Hyperlite. So that same idea of integrating that knee plate, integrating the calf plate into the pad as well by a bracket system. So more stability here as well. Which allows you to stay in the butterfly. Correct, nice and that better seal, and we're not having that bottom of that calf lift up in any of those motions as well. So a good sealing pad all the way throughout. More changes. Back side of the pad. So flip over yours as well. Okay, Cam. So when we open it up, we still see our TuneFit 2.0 system here. Different connection point though. Before it used to be to the outside of the calf. Now there's the connection point on the inside. So if you look, that's a lot like actually the mock series pad, which leads me to my next point. You are able to swap that out and put the TuneFit Plus strapping system in if you do wish or desire. Very easily, this comes as a replacement pack and it will fit right in. So a nice added feature of customization, even if you buy a stock pad off the wall. Uh, you are able to remove that outer knee wing as well as Kevin's doing right there. So if you don't like that, uh, which a lot of people gone. have gone down with that strapping down to the calf to open up the pad a little bit more, create a bit better rotation. You have seen that down here. Um, also a feature that was uh, called out uh, a couple of our, even our customers have asked for as well was having that lower strap just to help close off the bottom part, especially near your ankle, so your uh, skate didn't eject too far from the pad. That's now stock? Yeah, that is stock. Removable as well on the inside of the plate if you don't like it, but again, a nice added feature um, that definitely is worth calling out. It gone. You know I'm gonna have to put these all back on when you're done, right? That's kind of why I'm doing it, buddy. Uh, okay, moving on to the boot. Even flatter than last year. Flat. Angled as well, so we have that taper in, so allowing you to take that deeper stance without that pad wanting to kick up on the ice and ride up on you. That's the taper. That's correct. You're still seeing their regular toe tie system, a little bit more robust bungee than what they have in the past. So it's similar to what you were finding on the newer Supreme. That's been a quick, small upgrade as well. Um, overall, if you like the Hyperlite 1, you're going to love the Hyperlite 2. All great upgraded features. If there's anything you did want to change or kind of go back to, that's why custom is available. Um, which we have a little mixy here matchy. Yeah, you can if you want to. Okay, so it's a very thin pad, thin on the face, thin on the boot, still a flat boot angle, same as Hyperlite 2. Yeah, that 100 degree. 100 degrees. Yes. I just can't believe how light this is. Pretty fantastic. Gloves. Okay, let's go. Blocker gloves, let's go. Blocker gloves. 80. No, this is the Vapor 90. Oh, sorry, Vapor 90 is what they call it. So, Vapor 90, something that is available at custom. Or if you wait just a little bit longer, something you will find here on the walls of the Hockey Shop Sourcing Sports oh, you guys, exclusive. You guys ordered your own with the special. 
So stay tuned for that. Not quite here yet, but we will see that when that does. Uh, Cam um, smart actually, like that. Hey, what can we say? Um, so those will be available. So yes, Vapor 90. So that's similar to that CCM 580, True 580. Uh, we're getting that nice stuff bill over. Great closure, great feel. Definitely worth something checking out. But anyway, most important, stock Hyperlite 2. What they've done is redesigned a little bit of the backhand. Um, so we get a bit of a better fit. You also, something we can't show on camera, um, that same internal um, uh, grippy material that you found in the uh, Mock series of gloves has now made its way into the Hyperlite. Really tacks onto the finger stalls, not allowing your hand to slip, especially when the glove gets sweaty. Uh, overall hand adjustments, nice tight fitting glove without removing anything in terms of uh, ease of closure, especially right off the bat. What do you think, Kevin? I like it. I like it. New foam that's being debuted as well. Uh, Bauer's DTC foam, so this replaces Poron. It's still going to do the exact same things as Poron, but we got a new fancy name. But it ain't Poron. But it ain't Poron. What's it called? DTC. DTC. You got DTC. a blocker over there, genius? I do. So, Hyperlite 2. Good news is here, not a whole lot's changed um, because it didn't have to. Um, bit of a better design for the finger stalls in terms of having that protection just come down and wrap a little bit easier. That's one thing like, that I was noticed. It always curved? Uh, no, it wasn't always curved. So, so it was now flat. we have curved finger we stalls. We have curved finger that stalls. That would be something new. Cor hey, correct. And beefed up as well. So I do find that this is a little bit thicker stock. Um, so definitely a worth call out. Nice tight fitting palm. So similar to a player gov design. Uh, we still have those adjustable fingers on there too as well. Um, good overall balance. Nice and lightweight. Is that a uh, neutral or is those, that hand is lower down the blocker board? It mm -hmm. feels to me. To me, it's still more of a neutral position based off of uh, previous years. Um, it's just one of the things that throws it off a little bit. Their cuff piece for the glove is quite large. So there was one note there. Um, I do find that some people do have a little bit of interference um, potentially with their chest, depending on how it's fitting. But there is Velcro there to sort of give you some play. But yeah, no I Velcro. It is held on by elastic. Oh, sorry, elastic. Yeah. But elastic Velcro. I'm not that bright. Could always take a pair of scissors to open that up a little bit more. Did you, you really just take to. a pair of scissors to the new Hyperlite 2 line? Uh, potentially. Who knows? Thin board as well. Yes. But it still has that active feel on there. And uh, that rebounds pop big off there. rebound punch. Honestly, you're not supposed to punch people with your blocker, but the leading edge on this is sharp enough. I might so be able to drop. So let's wrap this up here pretty quick. might be able to drop blood. So, so if you would like to chat about the new Hyperlite 2, you can give us a call at 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790 or check it out at thehockeyshop.com. We also have demos if you're local. Or you can check them out at Tandy Fest. Definitely coming up here pretty soon. Going to be on the ice at Tandy Fest. One thing to remember, folks, uh, as Cam mentioned, customizer for Bauer, um, like right down to the graphics. You can order these with all kinds of custom options. You can combine uh, some of the different lines. You can mix and match, as we were kidding before, between the two different lines, the Vapor and the Supreme. Uh, just tons of options now from Bauer and a great new pad. Uh, so make sure if you have questions about those options, there's no better place to get your answers than the hockey shop, thehockeyshop.com. Not just Cam, but his entire crew. It's not just a bunch of kids out of high school that want a summer job. They're all goalies. They will get you the answers that will help you play better in the new Bauer Hyperlite 2.